actually. At the recent MTV Movie Awards, Star Wars The Force Awakens took home a number of awards, Woo-hoo. including one for Daisy Ridley's character Rey. Mm-hmm. Afterwards, in an interview on the red carpet, MTV correspondent Josh Horowitz asked Daisy about her thoughts on the trailer for Rogue One, which quickly turned to the fans' theories of Felicity Jones' character being Rey's mother. Daisy debunked the theory immediately, saying that just because they look alike does not mean they are related. When the subject of Rey's parents came up, Daisy said that she does in fact know who Rey's parents are and that it doesn't matter, putting stress on the fact that her character is finding her place in episode 8, rather than searching through her past. Schnett by or sell Daisy Ridley's comments about Rogue One and Rey's parents. Totally by Rey Skywalker's uh, comments (laughs) on Rogue One. They're not related. Drop it. Leave it alone. Let it roll away. That's all I got to say. I just, I love, like, the word precocious gets overused sometimes when we're talking about people who are new to, it's never been used on me, but she is so good at handling the media because that from her first feature film, which was The Force Awakens, the first time we got to know her, so many questions coming at her about, like, oh, what's this, what's this, what's this? and she handles it all with grace. She's never let a spoiler slip, doesn't appear it's going to happen anytime soon, right. so I buy that she is aware of who her parents, in fact, are, but I also buy her take on it that it, that's not not the most important thing right now. It's that this character, Ray is going to have some galaxies to save, and that's what her focus is going to be. But yeah, we also really want to know what she knows. Christian? Yeah, I mean, I buy the comments because the thing is with her, is you got to remember, she wasn't a big Star Wars fan before she started. She was, like everyone else, was aware of it, for sure. And then she was thrust into the fandom. And we know that the fandom is it can go fast and furious at you no matter what. Who are you? What's what's your parents? Do you have a lightsaber? Can you use the force on me now? Like all that <laughs> stuff that they that she probably gets. She did she is a pro at it already. In this young career of hers, she knows how to handle these questions. I knew that the second you saw Felicity Jones, another female in in a lead, people are going to go, that's got to be Ray's mom. And I'm like so against it. I hope, I really hope that it's not. And it was nice to hear her say, whether or not she's pulling a, it's not con, um, then w- that's possible as well. But I don't think it is. Yeah. I think that there's no way that they're going to do that. <laughs> you really shrink the universe if you do it that way too. You don't need her to be Ray's mom. I would like, I almost wish that it, she, that it turns into just something completely different as where you look at that. Did you guys talk about the last shot in Rogue One like oh yeah you did you just talked so I mean the fact that she might be either infiltrating oh we didn't we didn't talk about the that we just you and me talk uh, about no, say, it on, no. say it online so if you look at the Rogue One um trailer at the very end you see when uh Forrest Whitaker is doing that voiceover that you see Felicity Jones in the in the black elite um Vader squad mm-hmm. in, in the TIE fighter the outfit. TIE fighter you outfit, hear that man <laughs> yeah but now the question is there's two. It's either is she infiltrating, or does she become a member of, of the squad? Now I, I tend to think that it's gonna that she's infiltrating, but who knows what happens? We don't know that she's gonna live from that thing, and she's certainly not gonna meet Luke because Luke's you know d- watching f- f- farts or something. I don't know what he's doing. I don't, I don't think Luke is <laughs> watching <laughs> farts on Tatooine. He's watching you know, Uncle Owen and Baru do God knows <laughs> he's what. Staring blue milk. at the ocean for a really yeah. long time. Give him a break. Yeah. The ocean. There's no ocean on Tatooine. Well, no. I mean, I'm talking about the. The new movies. <laughs> it's, an, it's an ocean of sand. It's an ocean of sand. You see, yeah. Rogue One takes place before A New Hope, which means that it's more likely, however right. unlikely, that Luke, it's more plausible that he is, in fact, watching farts <laughs> than he is staring at an ocean for everybody keeping score. He's thinking at home. of his future. He sees water. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Hey, guys, if you like this clip, click here to watch the entire episode. Also, make sure you subscribe to our YouTube channel because it'll help you stay up to date with all the stuff we've got going on here at Collider.